Hi everybody! Um, some, I, I nearly had a heart attack today. Um, yeah, I'm just making sure that the little things are recording. Um, just now, I just almost had a heart attack. Um, my flip, I noticed a little blue screen, you know, it had this little blue screen when I uncov un undid it. And then when I unplugged it into my computer, my computer says, I don't recognize this. And the, the, the flip wouldn't turn on. And I was like, oh my god, it's broken! <laughs> and the thing is, this has happened to me once before. But uh, at that time, the flip hadn't been fully charged. Well, actually, it had died. The Well, it hadn't died, but the battery had been ran down to its absolute low. So, you know, I was like, okay. But this time, the, the flip was fully charged. I was like, oh, my God, did I overcharge it? Or, I, you know, I've knocked into it a few times. I caught it, so it didn't actually officially fall to the ground, but... I was like, oh God, what, did I break it? Or or I was thinking of all my automotive stuff, you know, I was thinking, oh, maybe, maybe some stuff got into it and killed it. And so I was feeling, I was, you know, really upset, you know, because here it is, it's broken. And I'm poor <laughs> and I can't replace it. So, but I Googled about the problem and I saw a solution that wound up working for me happily. Uh, though what this does teach me, I really need to start saving up him some money and putting it aside. Call it when something breaks fun, you know, because, you know, things love to break when you're poor, don't they? The way I figured it, if I keep a bunch of money aside, things will probably never break, you know, because things only love to break down when you're poor. They never do it when you have the money. So my theory is if I if I always have money set aside, things will never break down on me. <laughs> That's my theory. Oh, anyway, so uh, what was we talking about again? <laughs> it's late at night. Um, okay, so... I, I I tried this little trick somebody had written on the one of the Google pages, and I wanted to pass it on to you. So in case you know, I'm not a techno geek, but this this worked for me. And if there's anybody else out there that has had the same problem, then try this before you toss your camera. Um, by the way, I have a Flip Ultra. HD. Okay, so, and I wish I could give you a step-by-step -step on the computer, but the thing is, I need the flip to record. <laughs> so, you know, what are you going to do? So I'll try to keep the basic steps simple, and hopefully you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, the first thing you need to do. Now, the symptoms I was having is that the screen seemed light. Like, you know, but it wasn't showing anything. When I pressed the button, it wouldn't turn on. That little red light wouldn't turn on. Um, when I plugged it into the computer, the computer said, I don't recognize this device, you know, rather than have the flip screen come up. These were the symptoms I was having. So the first thing I did is that underneath the flip, there's a little tab that goes up and down. And if you look at the little icons, there'll be a little lock, and then I think there's like a, a little unlock. I couldn't really see them. Okay, so you squirt that down. If you remember how to change your battery, that, you know, you remember how to take the cover off, that, you know, that'll show you. So slip the tab down and then in this case this camera you slide the battery uh, the battery cover off and then there's your, your little what battery mine was a little white battery um, you take take the battery out then with the battery out and with the cover still off take the camcorder and plug it into the USB port and see if your computer will then recognize it. And that's what happened with me. Uh, actually, this menu came up, and then the flip uh, menu came up, and then that. Once this, if this happens, the flip menu comes up, then take your battery, and while it's still plugged into the USB port, plug the battery back into the, the clamcorder. 
and see if you know and then this should then the computer should say, uh, I think it actually another flip menu will come back up and another flip screen will come up. And if this happens, then this should be a fix. Uh, then, after that's done, um, safely remove the flip camcorder, put back the battery cover, and then if you want to check you know, wait a few seconds. I waited like 10 seconds and then I replugged it into my computer and when I did, it started working again. So, um, that worked for me. So, I'm hoping it'll work for you. I hope, I hope that my, my instructions were, you know, I, I wish I could show you a step-by-step -step process, but unfortunately that is, I don't have two camcorders, so, uh, I, and I need this to record. But I hope I uh, gave basic uh, enough instructions so that you'll understand them. And I hope <laughs> whatever is wrong with your flip, it's something that you can fix. So, uh, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.